Oh, that's a lot of pigs. The good news is they're bringing us more wild game meat. Why the hell they're not bringing us bacon? I don't know. I didn't write the game code. It should be bacon. We'll just pretend that it's bacon. Because I like bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? Everybody likes bacon. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshroud, and I'm the Bearded OG, and we're going to start this episode, uh, episode <laughs> off by uh, doing the Revelwood Spire. Then we're going to go rescue Emily, and then after that, um, we're going to decide uh, where we're going to have our permanent base for this playthrough series. i got an idea on that, but I'll share that with you when the time comes. All right, so let's see. We need to get those two buttons opened. Let's go left first. And we've got zappity zaps and fireballs. Okay, there's the first button. Second button's probably in here. Or no, uh, wait. Can't open that door. Okay, this door. Anything out here? Oh, ouch, that hurt. Damn. All right, um, let's get, uh, some healing going. There's a water there. Here's the button. And through here. We got some copper bars that should open up um, the copper tools for us. I'll spend a little bit of time mining some copper. All right, we got two buttons on both sides of us to open. Oh, we got to do four buttons in total. Gotcha. Okay. This is going to be a wand. Anything out here? That one we could probably do that with. All right, that's two of the four. I think the next button's around this corner here. I remember actually having trouble with this one the first time, you know, trying to figure out how to get to it, but it's actually right here. All right, that takes care of that one. Some bricks. Okay, that opens up some more stuff for us. And there's this guy here. That should take care of all the buttons. Oh shit. Uh, and we go here, except for. We want to go around to the left because I think there's chest action. There we go. Masterful Mace. Anything out here? No, but we got a Shroud Flask. I'll take that. Uh, 
That wasn't smart. Um, yeah, I think that's it for in here. Yeah, we just went around that way. We went that way. Yeah. Could be forgetting something, but that's all right. So this place has the buttons up in the corners, as I recall, like way up there. There we go. All right, let's go left. More bricks. Chest. Some poison arrows. Uh, I think there's a chest behind here. Yep, gold chest. Ho oh, ho, look at that. Okay. Um let's see here. Character. This is a level 13, 19 critical, 11 magical critical. Hmm. That's just critical strike, though. Some farmers believe in. That. Th so. Hmm. Magical critical strike. That must be for just physical, then, because it doesn't say magical explicitly. Um. If we go. Here. It's 27% range to damage. I, I don't think this shows what our, our critical is. If we put this on for a moment and then go back to here, it doesn't change our magic damage at all. All right, well, I'm going to assume... You guys can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about this, but I'm going to assume that this means physical critical strike damage because this one explicitly says magical critical strike and uh, we want to keep that one if that is indeed the case all right up to here we go let's get this guy and this guy And we're at the top. It's a beautiful thing. That's depressing. Okay. We got the spire finished. Uh, next is Emily. Growing stronger together. Let's take a look actually on the map for that. Queen's Tomb. Ancient Vault Farmer. Okay. Um, we're probably further ahead to go back to here and fly north to get there. What we could do, though, is we could go down to Diadwin, get the building blocks and Oswald's chest first. And then, because, you know, that's just right here. Uh, set us a waypoint. Let's do that first, and then we'll go do Emily. <laughs> All right. And let's also buff up here. Got that uh, wild game meat. Which is helping quite a bit. We'll take one of those. I don't think we're going to be in the shroud for this. Uh, let's see, we're going this way, right? Yeah. We've done all our points, right? Yeah, we just got Blink in the two sub Blink skills, so now we're moving up the wizard tree. Okay, let's go. I hear a 
bad guy. Oh, you know what? Um, before we go get Emily, actually, we're going to go home and get our our new uh, wizard armor. Because I think we have enough um, indigo to do that and still have a little left over for... Oh, shit! For farming. Oh, that's a lot of pigs. I need to switch to fire. Get the shield up. good news is they're bringing us more wild game meat. Why the hell they're not bringing us bacon? I don't know. I didn't write the game code. It should be bacon. We'll just pretend that it's bacon. Because I like bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? Everybody likes bacon. Okay, anyway. um, Yeah. Let's heal back up again. Whoop, not that. That back on fireball for now. Fireball. And another piggly wiggly that's almost dead because of poison. All right, let's get the stuff off of him. Miss me. Hehehe, <laughs> sucker. Alright, uh, I could take a potion. Let's just let our mana build back up, though. Oh, he did miss me that time. I hate it when that happens. Let's pick some of that. Pick some of that. Pick some of this. And some of this. That. Okay. Um. Let's top off our health here. Oh. Heal. Oh, heal channel. There we go. Yeah. I. I. That's right. I forgot. There's a lot of pigs around here, so you gotta be careful. But, again, lots of bacon, too. This is also a very good place to come and farm um, resin, because there's lots of autumn trees around. And it's a good place to come and farm beehives, because there's a lot of beehives around. There's a silver chest there. I think that's where the blocks are. Beats. Watch out for more Piggly Wigglies. Okay, half timbered blocks. I really like those. Pause the screen to read that. All right, Oswald Anders' chest is also around here. But we're going to pick some more indigo. Isn't there something buried in the mud down here, too? Or am I thinking of something else? That there was a chest buried in the mud down here. No, they're not usually buried that deep, so I guess I'm confused. Wouldn't be the first time. Hazelnuts, too. That's good for 
for strength, but it doesn't really help us out any. Seriously, dude. Whoops. Now we got... No, no, no. Get the bees. Don't get the flower. Alright. Son of a bitch! You doiny rant! Alright. Back to heal channel. I think his chest... Oh, shit. There's a boar. And guess who... Or, never mind. Okay. I'm gonna say I... Forgot to switch back to fireball, but then I didn't forget. Hello? Alright, we gotta find a, a camp. Here, it's up here. Put all the strawberries around here, goodness. Strawberries and beets, carpenter camps. Okay, we dig down here for his chest, and is there a... Oh, nice. We'll take that. We can actually make those now. That's what we need the beets for. There it is. Oh, look at that. Okay, um, let's get rid of this. That's probably an upgrade from what we currently have. This is a level 8 shield with 7 block. This is a level 13 shield with 10 block. I will eventually switch to a... It's cool looking. Uh, to a magic shield, though. That is the plan. All right, before we... Before we take off and go home to get ready for Emily, um, there is one of the biggest copper mines in the game right below us. Uh, at least one of the biggest ones I've ever found. Uh, is there a repair thingy over here? Um, I don't know. So let's, uh, yeah, that's the bridge that goes across. Let's go down there and I'm going to grab enough copper to make, uh, make some copper tools. Yeah, so it's this, this big, huge lump of copper right here, but it also goes down underground a ways too and it's dark out and scary okay <laughs> it scared the hell out of me um let's pop one of these and oh shit I hear a wolf I think that's probably just scary ambient nighttime noise. Let's tell ourselves that anyways. Alright, so what I'm going to do um, is... You know what I think I actually might do is pop down a, an altar temporarily here. Um, okay, yeah, so... Let's get some stone. All kinds of frightening noises. Oh, not available. No room available in the backpack. Okay, well, let's see. What do we not need right at the moment? And I hate to do it, but I'm going to throw away a piece of metal. Well, we could do the bones. I got tons of bone meal. 
Tons and tons. Okay, so this is going to be our copper mining spot. Oh, wait a minute, though. We can't put this here or it'll prevent that from respawning. I'm not going down there. All right, I'll 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 pick it back up before we leave. The other thing it does is it gives us some light, though, too. So, yeah, that's the reason I put it down, because it gives us some light. That's the only reason I put it down. What? You guys don't believe me? Okay. I'm going to mine some copper. I'll see you back at the base here in just a little bit. It will go after Emily. All right. We're back home. It's the morning. It's morning time. And everybody wants to talk to me. All right. What do you have to say? Um. Oh, you just have new arrows for us because of copper. Okay. Um. Uh, what do you have to say? Half timber blocks. We got them. Okay, so that finishes that quest. Um, and we need to. This is sort of centering and heating. Yeah, we need to make that. We need eight shroud sacks. Oh, and I guess we need linen too before we can make the advanced glider. Okay. Um. Oh, good. We can make the storage. Well, we can't because we have to go get the, the table saw for that. What else did you have? Oh, new fireplace. New chairs. Doors. Windows. The new round windows are cool. The Hobbit stuff. Some dishes. Okay, so that gets everything done. It's new with Chew. Now, with you... Oh, strange dreams of a castle. Have you heard of Pike Mead's Wisps? They're dancing lights in the sea. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, crucible needed for crafting. Smelter regards a crucible. Yeah, we're going to have to get that too before we can actually smelt the copper. Polinker swing. Okay, yeah. Felling axe. All right, so now we know how to make the copper tools, but we can't do that until we get the crucible. So that's got to be a pretty high priority for us. Uh, he can make a new shield, which is 14 with 11 block. And actually just slightly better than the one we just found, which he can also make. Hmm. Okay. Can make a club tank set which we're not really interested in right now and fences okay you we want to talk to uh, oh nice we can make the chain lightning spell but again we need copper for that though uh all right so i think we want the mage set um and, oh, shoot, we need amber for that. Man, nothing's ever easy. <laughs> I know where to get it, though. I know where to get it. And we also need linen. All right, so to do linen, uh, what do we need for that? Drying rack, animal fur. I think we need, a, don't we need, like, a spinning loom or something like that? That we would do through you? Show me that has the drying rack available to us. Are we done here? Maybe we have to get Emily first before that unlocks. I don't remember. Oh, man. Damn it, Jim. Wait, what? A, do you, maybe you have it. What do you have for crafting? Oh, you just have the kiln. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to stick with this... Uh, We're going to have to stick with this uh, current set a little bit longer. Is what it is. Okay. I think it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for us to go get our farmer. So, oh, actually, there is one thing I want to do. I want to cook all this 
wild game meetup. So I'll meet you guys at the spire. Uh, well, no, I'll, I'll just meet you on the road to Emily. All right, we came through Ferndale last time. I think we're going to skip it. You know what, though? Don't we have to go here for... A t growing strong... Yeah, I'll bet you we have to get her a test of skill. And what's the sea animal for? She was share a secret. Oh, maybe that's the one we have to do to get the loom. All right, maybe we'll do this one next. Um, after we get Emily and see if that unlocks the loom. I just don't remember. I've only done it once before, so. Uh, all right, we need to go that direction. So we're going to go off road. Wolf pack. All right, we are here. I don't think we have any combat to get inside, like video on some of the other ones. But we do have quite the uh, parkour ahead of us in this particular vault. Um, and I gotta remember how to do it all. Okay, let's go left. Not smart. Okay, let's try that again. Just one double jump. That's all you got to do. No gliding. Actually, since we don't have enemies in here, we'll just keep this on healing. get up there from here. Well, here, let's just go into here first. And zapped us. Alright, there's the first button. Let's make sure we have full stamina to get all the way up here. And I'm going to actually take a honey to help with that, too. Oh, I guess that wasn't as long of a climb as I was thinking. Alright. Back to here. Um, we can cross over this way. We got a button over there. Okay. So that's two buttons. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, this is where we were before. Okay. 
We've got another thing to climb up here. Oops. Get full stamina. Okay. That's weird. Why does he keep doing that? Uh, try to remember what's up here. Excuse me. It's early in the morning. This isn't the place where... We, yeah, no, that was the Hunter Vault. Oh, I'll take that. That was worth coming up here for. Here we go. Takes care of that button. I don't remember. Was this a three or a four button? Oh, it was a three button thingy. Okay. Good. And we're in. Hello, Emily. Okay. Is there anything else up here? I don't think there is. Pretty sure there is not in this vault. Okay, let's um let's do I guess we could do the Queen's Tomb. Doesn't that shield give us some health? Two. Um Yeah, what the hell? Let's do it. I think that shield gives us a little bit of health. Plus you could kind of think of it as a magic shield. It looks like a magic shield. Since we're at the scavenger hill, let's just pop up here really quick and repair our stuff. Set this to ice bolt. In case we have any enemies like you. Um, hello? He wasn't casting. From this chest too. Wolf's Snarl, level 7, 15 power, level 7, 11 power. That's a faster bow. Yeah, I don't care. I'm just going to salvage it because I only use it for traps. So a faster bow makes more sense. Oh, that's right. We can farm elixirs here too. There's always a couple on this table. Yeah, the big bad boss is up above. Two more elixirs. Damn straight. Okay, let's repair. And head on out. Is there another... No, I guess not. Looks like we could use one little square to heal there. Get that back on fireball. Okay, yeah, let's just no go knock out the queen's tomb. Um, so we can get that shield, which will give us a health bonus. If I recall correctly. And it looks badass, too. On second thought, since we have an, an altar really close by, I'm going to go home, repair, refresh, rested buff, put stuff away, meet you back here. You know the drill.
Whilst we're here, we might as well put Emily down too. Okay, we got all of our crafts people, except for the, the collector. That is a beautiful thing. Nice little milestone to accomplish in our second season playthrough here. I love it. All right, what do you got to say? I'm sure I can help. Descend into the... Oh, he's telling us about the first dungeon. Oh, that's going to be fun. I'm looking so forward to that. We're going to wipe. Uh... I'm going to actually read this. By now you've encountered the hollow, skeletal husks animated by ire and the curse of the flame. Legends say they were banished into grand underground halls of unknown origin. I discovered one such hall during my studies, but I could not enter. Maybe you can. Best assemble a team if you have one to descend. All right. That's going to be so fun. And yeah, very much looking forward to that. Okay. So, um, actually, hold on. You potion flask of the fell we got some beets and stuff for that we should make a couple of those um i don't think i have a very much uh have very much chamomile so we'll just stick with the small health potions for now and i haven't haven't really come across those yet we found them a couple of them in the shroud and that's it but we'll find a bunch of those in the um in the rebel wood i think we're doing pretty good on shroud survival flasks yeah we're doing really good on those I got five mana potions plus these two big ones anyway, so we're okay on that. Oh, I've got two Flask of the Fell. Um, what do you need for that again? You need Shroud Juice, Strawberries, and Beets. I think I have enough of those to, to where we can afford to use a, a few. Let's split that stack. Um, we got lots of strawberries. I want not, uh, eight of those. I really like the new split system. It's very nice. Okay, so we got those two. What else did you say you needed? Uh, oh, yeah, right. Shroud juice. I have nine of those. Okay, so that should allow us to make eight blasts of the fell. Glad to help. That's going to help a lot with stamina, of course. Um, all right, and then what are we doing on fireballs? We have seventy-eight. That's that's enough for now, I think. Uh, Emily, hello. Please rest a while. Beware of the hollow, my dear. The alchemist tasked you to enter the hollow halls. Beware of the hollow inside. These thieves conspired to claim part of the flame and were cursed by the ancients' as punishment to never feel the warmth of another. I almost pity them. Okay. Emily, you can't make us anything until we get you your fireplace. Uh, you can make us seed beds. Flower soil. Is that new? That's new. I don't remember that before. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is all brand new stuff. fan freaking tastic Um, maybe we should get some seed beds going. Wood log, metal scraps, and farm soil. Farm soil is dirt and bone meal. That way we could... Well, no, I'm not. There's a reason why and you'll find out soon. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hand spindle. That's what we need. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, Westcott. That's where we got to go. All right. Yeah, once we get the hand spindle, then we can make the better wizard armor. What do you want? Mysterious hollow halls. So the ghastly catacombs that house the hollow are real? My Aunt Ellen used to tell stories, but, well, you know, her. Always a tale teller, that one. 
If old Balthasar has seen them himself, then it is true. Oh, think of the materials, the architecture, the treasures. I wish my little legs could take me there too. Well, you can't because the devs didn't program you to be able to actually walk around, which kind of sucks. It'd be cool I if you did. It'd be if they just had some basic animations where they were working at their stations or something like that, you know? But they don't, and it is what it is. Okay, so, good. Um, the spindle is... really should probably be our next priority, just because... Uh, Hunter's Hand Spindle. And it is. I know we were gonna just we were gonna go do the Queen's Tomb, but I think we should see if we can knock this out because it's gonna open up more important things for us. Uh, what was holding us back from the smelter? He. Oh right, we got to get the crucible. Oh, that's what this will do. No, not that. Um, this. Okay. I think we'll prioritize the spindle first. But now that I think about it, that quest is... We have to go to a couple of different places for it. Um, all right, let's go back to plan A, because I know... Uh, I think that's going to take too long to try and squeeze into one episode. So we're going to go back and do the Queen's Tomb to get that nice shield for the health boost. And then we'll tackle some of these other things in the, the following episode. So that being said, let's go back to here. And we'll go knock out the Queen's Tomb. Got four lock picks on me. All right. This gives you some clues as to what to do in here, but I've already done it, so I more or less remember what to do. And we want fireball for the enemies in here. Oh, we also oh. We also want to buff up to is that guy coming over here no all right let's take you and you and you and you and I, i'm gonna take this too because we're not gonna be down in uh the muckety muck for long periods of time Okay, he did. Let's go. Um, let's go deal with the wraith first. I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. Oh no, that's not the wraith. Oh, there it is. Okay. One of our buttons is is way up there. Got it. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go left. Oh, we might as well pop one of these, too. You know, I hope I have enough lockpicks to do this. I forgot that we needed a bunch of them. We have two more. Well, I suppose if nothing else, we could farm up a couple of things of scrap metal and then would be okay. 
There's a chest in there. Alright, let's go up this way. I think there's a lootable coffin over here. Except for it's not lootable. Go this way and up here. And across to that button there. And isn't there an enemy? Yeah. There was an enemy. Okay, and that's the way out of this section. Oh, that's the lootable coffin I was thinking about. Nice. We'll take that for sure. Yes, indeed, we will. Oh, you know what? I guess I have the option of breaking doors, too, if we, if we have to. All right. Let's get this gunk out of the way. Potion. All right, then I think what we do is we come along here, we open this door, we'll have another wraith to fight in here, maybe. Oh no, that's the one we already killed, okay. So she's taken care of. All right, the other two buttons are on this side of the house. That's our final lock pick, but I think this might be our final door that we have to open with one. All right, let's switch to this and the wrong button, as usual. Have a chest here for the health potion. And we want to go down this way. Careful of the gobbledygook. Oh. Okay, hold on. I'm in a different spot than I thought I was. blow this thing up and then an enemy will come after us. Right, okay. Then we go in here. And there's nothing that way. Got a couple of bad bads to fight up here. Gets us this button. Okay, and then the final... The final button's down below. It's down right underneath where we are. We just got to make sure we get down there 
safely. Or is it over here? Oh, it's over here. Yeah. Never mind. Is that a different spot than it used to be? I thought it was up against this wall. I don't know. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I'm just corn fused. It wouldn't be the first time. Alright, let's get out of here. And hither we go. I wonder if they fixed it. They did fix it. Look at that. There's a grate above there now. That used to be open, and you could you could just kind of cheese your way right down in here and bypass all of the dungeon. That's funny. Okay. Um, this oh, this doesn't give us a health bonus. It gives us shroud resistance though. Hmm. I thought this gave a health bonus, unless they changed it, which they certainly could have done. Um. Get rid of that. Salvage that. Let's go here. So that's a level third. This is actually not as good as this. <laughs> Except for the shroud resistance part of it. Um. Except it has the same durability. Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, we're, we're gonna we're gonna be moving to a magic shield soon, anyways. So I may not use that. That sucks. Could have sworn that had a health a health boost before it. So I don't know. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap up this episode for today. So the plan for the next episode is to go after the loom and and probably the cauldron too, because we really need both of those things. The loom so that we can get the, the better wizard armor, the cauldron, so we can start smelting copper in order to make better tools. And um, also, I think what we'll do in the next episode is I will reveal to you what my plan is for our permanent base location. Uh, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.